Welcome back to another five minute episodes. Today I want to look into neural networks and explain you very briefly what neural networks are and basically what are the key concepts that are used in order to do these magical things that we can do today with neural networks. So first a neural network, also called artificial neural network, is a computational system that is heavily used in AI, in machine learning, in computer vision, in robotics, in a large number of other disciplines. And what those neural networks basically do is they take some input signal and they do some computations based on this input signal and generate an output. So they are actually nothing else than functions. So a function that takes an input and computes an output. It's actually not more than that. The question is now only how do those functions look like and how can we <clears throat> let the neural network do cool stuff without specifying those functions by hand. So a neural network consists of so-called neurons, and you can see a neuron basically as a small computational element, a small function, something that, for example, adds up two values or multiplies values with each other. So really simple things. And then we have the network, which basically tells us that those computational elements, those neurons are connected with each other and can pass information from one neuron to another neuron, always transforming the information in some way. And so by chaining a lot of those neurons, we can actually turn some input signal into some other output signal. So we can see a neural network as a connection of small functions which form a new, larger and more complex function. So the neural network basically takes an input, which it puts in the so-called input layer, the first layer of the network, and then has so-called hidden layers, so things that we kind of can't really see what's going on in there, but it does some magic computations in there, the network, and then generates a so-called output layer so we can actually get the signal out of the network. So if we take a small example, for example, we have an image of that cat and we run it through a neural network that can perform image classification. This network should be able to tell us, hey, that's a cat over here on that image. And it will not say this is a dog or this is a human. It will say this is a cat. And so what this network basically does, it takes all the pixels of the input image into the input layer, so it can be a very large vector, and does some magic with it. So transforming those intensity values in some way, so in the end we get out an indicator vector telling us what we see on that image is actually a cat. So this is an example for image classification. And um, what we need to do in order to generate a network which can do something like this, we need to specify all those small tiny functions in this network. The problem is there are a lot of parameters involved, a lot of weights, biases, activation functions and things like this. And those, to determine those parameters takes a lot of effort. And it's impossible to actually sit down and write down those numbers by hand because these can be easily uh, hundreds of thousands, millions or even much more parameters. So there's something we cannot do by hand. And for that we use learning, so we learn a neural network. So what does that mean? It means that we actually provide examples to the network, for example, images of cats and images of dogs, telling the network what you see here are cats, what you see here are dogs, what you see here are humans. And then let the network figure out on its own how to set those parameters in the network so that it will classify the images where we see a dog as a dog and the images where we see a cat as a cat. And this basically means learning a neural network. In the learning neural network, what you're basically doing is using a standard technique which is called gradient descent. It's a possibility to minimize a function. We use a variant of that, so-called stochastic gradient descent, basically for reasons of efficiency. And what we try to do is we try to minimize a function and the, this function basically measures how good is a network um, in taking cat images and actually telling that this is a cat. So we are trying to um, compute the mismatch between what the network says and what it should say. And we're trying to minimize this function. Again, stochastic gradient descent is a key ingredient in here. And as the name stochastic gradient descent tells us, we need to compute a gradient in this process. And computing a gradient over such a network can be complicated. And therefore we have a technique which is called backpropagation, which in the end does nothing else than computing this gradient of this loss function, this function we actually want to minimize with respect to the parameters of the network. And by providing training examples and by running stochastic gradient descent and backpropagation, we are basically able to figure out the parameters so that then the network knows how to turn an image of a cat into an indicator vector telling us that this is actually a cat. 
So there are a lot of different neural networks out there and basically the topology of the network is something which is actually pretty difficult to design um, and a lot of try and error is used to do that. Um, but the topology and those parameters actually tell the network what to do. So what typically happens, we fix the topology and then learn the parameters for this topology. And these neural networks are techniques that are frequently used whenever you have to process sensor data such as camera data, laser data, and want to turn this, for example, into some semantic context saying what do we see on that image or interpreting what's going on. But it's also useful for a large number of other tasks. So I hope that was useful and gave you at least a very rough idea of what neural networks are. Thank you.